Hello everybody, it's Alan. It is December 11th, 2015, and I am one year, six months, and one week on tea. <coughs> so here's my year and a half update, quite momentous. So, um, let's see, I can just show you myself. There's my face. Um, I can start by talking about kind of the top down. Um, so, I have not really noticed any significant <coughs> difference in my hairline. It may have gone back a tiny bit, but it's just hard to say. You know, these things are so gradual, and I haven't, like, measured it, so I don't know. Um, my hair does not actually seem thinner, although I've had times of freaking out about that, as you probably know. So I'm glad that it does not seem thinner yet. Really, not, not that much, anyway. Um, so, as has been the case for most of the time I've been on tea, I don't have much face acne, or at least not much more than I did pre-tea. Although I do have shoulder acne which I've had for the whole time that I've been on tea. It's not, it's not, like, horrible, but there's definitely something there. And, um, I've noticed some more face changes, like, I notice more of sort of a line or shadow, like, here, and then kind of, like, you know, here. Um, so I don't know if my face is like losing fat or if the muscles in my face are getting bigger because muscles in the entire rest of my body have gotten bigger. So feels good to be looking more masculine, although I don't feel like I look that drastically different than I did pre-T. It's hard to tell how much of that is true and how much of that is in my head because I feel like I... Uh, my changes have been so gradual. I mean, I see myself every day, so I don't really notice some of the changes as much as other people do, um, because you don't really notice changes when they're really gradual. So, um, it's like I know that I've changed, but it doesn't feel like I've changed a ton in, in some ways. It's, it's weird. Uh, and... I feel like, sometimes I feel like my face does look kind of feminine or female or something, or that I do just in general, but I've had people say to me that they're very surprised to find out that I'm trans because they did not think that from looking at me. And even one of my friends who is trans, who is in the weekly trans support group that I go to, told me, like, oh, wow, when you first came to the group, I was so surprised that you were trans because, uh, you know, before you said you were trans, I was like, oh, is this guy somebody's friend or something? Like, he doesn't look trans. So I was surprised because uh, I just don't really perceive myself that way. But it's validating that other people do. And, well, let's see, other things. Um, so I do have more... Hair, of course, uh, more body hair, more facial hair, and not a ton, clearly, but it's still gradually increasing. I do have some facial hair that's actually visible for other people who look at me. <laughs> it's a miracle. So I have like I have about five days worth of facial hair right now. So yeah. You can, you can see that. Mm. Yeah. Mm. A little bit here. And then I have some over here. I can't really see if you can see it. But uh, it's funny. There's more on this side than on the other side. Although there's obviously not a ton on either side. It's just kind of speckled in there. Um... So I'm, I'm enjoying it. I'm enjoying it. I have this nervous habit where if I'm driving or sitting at my desk doing work 
or if even if I'm talking to somebody and I'm really nervous for some reason, I try not to do it then. But I often find myself just like yanking the hairs out of my chin. It's just really satisfying and it doesn't hurt that much. <laughs> so I try not to do that. It's it's just like a nervous, like biting your nails type of habit. So I, I try not to. Anyway, um, body hair, yeah, so, I mean, to me, it seems like my arm hair has increased a lot. The lighting is kind of washing it out. But, I mean, clearly it's not that much relevant to a lot of other people. Um, but it has increased quite a lot, because I had hardly any to begin with. I mean, and it doesn't totally show up on the camera. I mean, in person, you could see more than you could see here. Um, and then my chest hair has is really increasing, although that's another one that probably does not show up on camera. Uh, yeah, it just does not. But in person, you can see quite a bit more. Uh, but I think I'll have some visible chest hair before too long. And then stomach hair, that has increased a lot. And um, I also have a lot of thigh hair, like inner thighs, back of the thighs. I'm starting to get some butt hair. Um, so kind of like... Uh, in, just down, like down there. That's it increased, like, yeah. So, um, so there's the hair report. So, um, uh, I am going to put my shirt on because it's very cold. So, oh yeah, another hair thing is that on the back of my neck, I get more scruff in between haircuts, and I don't like how that looks, so I try to keep an eye on it and trim it myself in between haircuts. I mean, I never had that pre-T, really. And, um, so fat and muscle, I mean, as, as I said before, I have fat going to my belly. I mean, I'm not, I'm not a very fat person, but if I were to, like, I mean, if I were to let it out, you could see that, but I don't want people to see it. Um, and, of course, my muscles continue to get stronger, yeah, although I do work out quite a lot. Um, I really try to get stronger, because tea is not just magic. I mean, if you want big muscles, you do have to really work at it. I mean, the tea helps a lot, but you also need to work out really hard. So I've been doing my best on that, although I haven't been able to exercise nearly as much as I would want to for the last few months because of being so busy with work, but I'll have a break this winter from school, so I plan to work out more then. And um, the as I've said before, but it's sort of been especially on my mind lately, my thigh muscles and my butt muscles got quite a bit, I've gotten quite a bit bigger on T, which bothers me because I had to go up a pant size, so that really sucks, uh, but, um, here, let me step back, I mean, I'm glad, I'm thankful that I don't have, like, gigantic hips, So I tried to remain thankful for that, but um, it's still not quite what I would hope for. But there's really nothing to do about that. I mean, I could lose a little bit of weight, but it's, but you know, it, it's a lot of it is just the, the bones, you know, my hip bones. That's just how it is. And, um, you know, if I could have a surgery to make my hips and butt smaller, I really would. I mean, I think that would be a higher priority for me than lower surgery. But, alas, that is not possible. And, um, so, uh, another thing about muscles. So I definitely feel stronger. I mean, um, for example, my legs feel so much stronger 
And I always notice that when I'm hiking or something, like if I'm going on a difficult hike, it's like I just feel power in my legs. I feel like I can just keep chugging along. So that's a good feeling. And, um, you know, I've had knee problems for many years because my legs don't have very great mechanics. It's like my legs are kind of bowed, you know, as opposed to being knock-kneed, where the knees hit. So I just don't have good knees. So because my leg muscles have really increased in strength on T, you know, I do kind of feel like that has helped my knee because my knee has better support from the muscles now. Although, you know, I do really specific leg exercises for knee health, but still, I do feel like tea has helped. A uh, quick side note about working out. So a couple people have asked if I could make an exercise video with, like, exercise recommendations. I'm contemplating that. I'm not sure if I will or not. I mean, I haven't had any time at all for that lately, so I'll so we'll see how things go. Um, let's see. Um, other things. Um, well, so another thing that I have had some dysphoria about in addition to my hips, which I've probably mentioned before, is feet. Because my feet are not huge. Um, they're not unusually small either. Uh, I'm five foot seven, and I... I usually wear like size seven and a half men's shoes. So at least I can get like adult men's shoes, even if I have to order from the internet. So I'm thankful for that because I'm relatively close to not being able to do that if my feet were any smaller. Um, but it would be nice if they were a little bit bigger. Um, but, you know, on the other hand, I have been paying special attention lately to cisgender males hands and feet and of course some of them are huge but some of them are not huge um like i was noticing this guy the other day who was, was a little taller than me but his feet were not huge i was like hmm. well maybe my feet don't look that unusual after all and i was reading online about foot size <laughs> and i found this website that said that for like, for, I'm going to say men and women, you know, I mean like a male and a female who were born male and female and went through that respective puberty, you know, like cisgender men and women. For two of them who are of the same height, the male would have feet that might only be half an inch longer than the female's feet. So half an inch is not that much. So that made me feel a little bit better. So, I'm trying to come to peace with my feet. Um, and just a, a note about sort of a mental thing. So, something I've been experiencing lately is just that it, for me, it, it, it's taking a while to really sort of mentally process my physical changes. Well, and also the social changes, you know, being perceived as male. I mean, that's a lot to process, too. I mean, the physical changes and social changes are good. I'm happy about them, and everything feels much more comfortable to me and more fitting for me, but it's still a big change. So it's a lot to process. Um, the changes just feel sort of odd in the sense that most changes of anything feel odd in large part. So I am a very contemplative, reflective, introspective person. So I feel like I, I have the need for more time to just kind of reflect, just have the changes sort of process through my mind. So I'm glad that I have winter vacation coming up because I'm a teacher, so I get a few weeks off. So I'm happy about that. Um, so, if you are a reflective, introspective person, or maybe even if you're not, I would recommend that if you're going to transition, try to set aside all the time that you can to take care of yourself and reflect 
and just have a bit of a break from things being really fast-paced. Because I could see that that might help even not-so-reflective people. Because it's a big change. It is a lot to deal with. Even if it's... even if it goes smoothly, as it has for me for the most part, even if you feel good about the changes, as I have, it's... it's just a big thing, you know? So... so it's good to just try to have time and energy to take care of yourself, so... That's my recommendation. Um, I don't mean that I've been freaking out or anything. I haven't. It's just that I feel like, you know, I need some quiet time. I need to go hiking. just kind of need to chill out a little bit. Let things bubble through my mind. So, I don't really have much more to say. Um, if you have questions, of course, you can ask. Uh... And I hope to make some more videos in the coming weeks when I have a break from school. Hopefully. We'll see how that goes. So, I mean, let me know if there's anything in particular you want me to make a video about, and I will consider it. So, yeah, that's about it. Thank you for watching. Bye.